On this episode of Nerds Talking the Podcast, the nerds talk about the new Zack Snyder movie, Rebel Moon, coming to Netflix. Also, Love comes to Netflix with the brand new romantic reality show, Down for Love. We'll tell you all about it. And we review the movie, Elemental, by Disney Pixar. All that and more on this episode of Nerds Talking the Podcast. Now start the show. Nerds Talking the Podcast. Yo! We talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune in to us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM. No matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Johnny, Carlos, Laura, and I'm Lafayette. Welcome to the show. Hey, check it out. Netflix has some new stuff coming out, and we're all excited. We're super excited. Rebel Moon. Zack Snyder is coming out. You guys know what that is by any chance? It's no. It's the Star, Star Wars, Wars story. Star Wars pitch he did for George Lucas, and George turned him down. Yes, yes, yes. But it's not yes. technically in the Star Wars universe, right? Because that's Disney. Right. He, so he it's call, like a sh- offshoot that he he's doing it, illegally. Well, he calls it Star Wars with violent sex and curse words. That's what he calls it. Yeah, but he so, can't call it that legally, oh, right? And put it on Netflix? He can call it sex, drugs, and lightsabers if and, he wants. Yeah. Okay, he all right, all right. I, I don't know. It, I'm not a copyright he, lawyer. What if he called it Wars Amongst the Stars? Oh. Yeah, but then what about all the details, like the force? Yeah, when, well, when, you, the force. when you see the preview, it's called Star Battles. When you when you see the preview, it doesn't really scream Star Wars. No, just the name does Rebel, Rebel Moon. Moon. Yeah, it sounds like a Star Wars title, but the actual preview doesn't say there are lightsabers. Feel, in it. Star, that's not a lightsaber. It's a, a lightsaber. lightsaber. It's a no, lightsaber. No, no. It's the a lightsaber. swords have uh built in like heat things, and then they, she can turn on. It's almost like a like a flame or uh heat it looks like a lightsaber though it does but it's not a lightsaber lightsaber no it's not the regular sword would it's a saber heat. that has no, light on no. it. first of all a lightsaber is not a saber first of all that's number one it's really not an actual that's saber. the name of it light okay, it's, saber. it's a light sword if anything okay You're a so light stick stupid. it's a Think laser it. sword what? thank you a laser sword there you go best way to put it it's not a saber not it's a, a laser, laser sword. either, because a laser is it is a laser. Distance. A laser and a laser is yeah, infinite it just distance. Keeps going. That yeah. is true. So That's explain to me the technology a light, of a, a lightsaber. Because I always thought the same thing. Work? How You're does it stupid. work? You're How does it know where to stop? It doesn't. It's a Carlos is, uh, ass theory. is on a different level today, guys. Yeah, yeah. he's coming in hot today. He, he is pissed off. Salty. What Carlos? Yeah, what about your week? Thank you. Yeah. His ass. Is it because I flaked on you to go to the gym last week? I flaked uh, on you twice, and I'm I apologize twice, for that. Twice. Now, can we get at the reasoning why you decided to stay a fat ass? All right. First day, I took my uh, daughter to the hospital. We were there at the hospital all day. That's so. a good one. So day That's one, you get your so, all right. All right. Off. Yep. Day one, you're good. Day, day two, two I, I needed a couple of drinks, and. Uh, that's also a good excuse. No, it's not a good excuse. <laughs> Lars, okay. down with that excuse one. Because there's a lot of calories and alcohol. That's a horrible excuse. Remember what I told you? It's Life one day at hard. a time. Be consistent. Go to the. Don't make excuses. God. No, I. I Life was be hard. like, what would Frank Godot do? And Frank. <laughs> Frank Godot. And just had some burrs. Who the fuck is, is that? Her brother? <laughs> <laughs> it's Karen Godot's. Yeah, that's right. We met Karen. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So yeah, so Rebel Moon. Also, it's two parts, uh, and uh, each of them was like two and a half hours. Jeez. And he's and the, the, he's already making director cuts for both of them. Jesus. There we go. Yeah. So you know. You. So we get we get basically seven hours of Rebel Moon. It looks good. The main actress is. It does um, look good though. Oh, I don't know her name, but it's the one from the first uh, Jason Bourne movie. The girlfriend from the Jason Bourne. From the first one? The, yeah. The German? Man, that's a while the, back. Yeah. Is she German Diane or is she Kruger? French? No. no. I'm pretty sure she's I'm German. just thinking of German actresses. You're just talking about the of... villain? There's no No, no, no. no. I'm villain. talking about in Rebel Moon. Are you talking no, about the, the main, main actress? The main actress, yeah. Really? She's yeah. not that old. Like, No, that's not her. Uh-oh. Google Machine's coming. IMDb Rebel Moon. 
All right. So, so the person that is in uh, Rebel Moon is uh, she was in Sophia Botel. Oh, the that's uh, the mummy girl. Never mind. Yeah, the she mummy. The, mummy. And, the uh, mummy with with um, Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. Yeah, and she was in. Oh, uh, she's the, the one in Kingsman with those yeah, yeah. legs, the swords or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that was right. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So not Jason Bourne. Not Matt. No, it wasn't Matt Damon. It's not Matt yeah. Damon. I was going to say, I was so old. I was like, wait a second. This Sophia person looks but very <laughs> young. I'm like, <laughs> it is ah, old. This person looks great. He looks kind of doodly. Is anybody else? It's the eyebrows, the really thick eyebrows. Well, it's she's actually got that, like the uh, chiseled face. Chin, too. Yeah. 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 You know what? I'm out. I'm out on that movie. Thanks, Laura. The the lady who Sorry. played, played mm-hmm. in Jason Bourne, she's 49 years old and she's oh, a German, right. German totally actress. Her. So, hmm. oh, it kind of looks like her though, Franca. Kind of Patente. Patente. Kind of. Oh, she they're... was also in uh, uh-huh. Star Trek. She was um the the alien white with the ah oh, yes, right. she yes. was the white black, alien. Yeah, yeah. That's the black right. stripes. Yeah, yeah, Wasn't yeah, yeah. she also I liked in her. that um that Charlie's Theron movie where it's yes, Cold Atomic War Blonde, movie. Atomic Blonde. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yes. yes, yes, I enjoyed that movie. Yes. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Yes. Who? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you confused as to what movie we're talking yeah, about? Yeah. As to why anybody would have liked Charlie it, that Starling. movie was shit. Oh, oh. sorry. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We're all coming in hot today. They're making a sequel, supposedly. Oh, a mm-hmm. uh, yeah, sequel yeah. to what? Atomic Blonde. Atomic Blonde. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they just they finished the um the Fu- is it Furioso movie called Nagasaki Blonde? Too soon. Like <laughs> I like mm. it. That's that's not. <laughs> wow, that's not. Un, that's not. Mm, not called for. People want to make Laura get that gets joke it. Too. No, no, I, I got the joke. Get it. Atomic Nagasaki. Ha ha ha. That's not cool. Oh, man. Yeah. Johnny Nagasaki was the second bomb. Yeah, it was the second one. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I'm pretty sure that's too soon. That is. <laughs> that's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> but made a whole movie about it recently. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but but they didn't. Did you guys like... all see or no? Lafayette saw Oppenheimer. Did anybody else? No, you guys are losers. I come want on to. streaming like next week or something. Losers. I know. Yeah, I can wait. Oh, also, yeah. On, on that note, Blue Beetle comes out September eighteenth. Uh, it's so dumb. Why are they releasing them so soon? Because it only made. That's why they're losing money. Like thirty million dollars or something, and I never understood why you're gonna release it so soon. Because Carlos is right. That's why they're losing money. It's it, it's not because they're sh- well. It is because their shows are too expensive. But it's also because, hey, why don't you just wait two months? You can stream it at home on your like favorite Barbie, streaming Barbie, I missed service. the opening weekend. Oppenheimer missed the opening weekend. I'm just gonna wait for streaming. But Barbie, I don't know the streaming date because it's still making money. Doesn't matter. It's still gonna come out in streaming. The problem I heard was September eighth. I don't know if I pulled that out of my ass, but I heard it somewhere. The problem with like a Oppenheimer movie is you know it's long and like for me streaming is ideal, right? You can take potty breaks and he breaks, whatnot. snack breaks. Yeah, yeah. Kind of no, snack break right. right now. It is. It's a very long. What? Movie and don't you want a snack break right now? Am I eating? Something? I always want a snack. No, you're always eating some. Wow, very like hot, fat very hot at today. all times. Yeah, you know I'm First, gonna I'm gonna take the high road. Of- of fat shaming. How do you like my diet idea, Lafayette? I First texted all, it around diet to the group. Idea is the best idea I've ever heard. You send and me what idea. you're going to eat and then yeah. I fat shame you. So, yeah, the idea is I'm going to take a picture of everything that I eat and send it to Lafayette. And then he is going to fat shame me into eating better. I feel I like. Mean, that's... Right now, Carlos should have that responsibility because yeah, he's I think super he's mean right now. He's, yeah, he's kind of on one today. How about I just send it to the group? <laughs> I was thinking of you yeah, send the a picture of a cat's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for this one. Let, no, no, not... wait, let, let him finish. Excuse me. Let him finish. That's all I had. I saw the cat walking around with his tail. I'm like, I'm taking... I'm yeah, John. My yeah, cat's no, butthole. you know what? I have limits. That's <laughs> odd. Yeah, no. So Netflix has um, <laughs> so Netflix, um has a show coming out on Netflix called it's, Down for Love. It's already out. It's already out on Netflix. It is one of those dating reality shows. But what's, ever... what's the twist? What's the twist? The twist is that it's people with Down syndrome looking for love. And, they're... and the trailer is super sweet. They're just like talking about how much they want to fall in love and all that. 
But then the title, Down Again, for I Love. Oh, I know. It was. It makes me feel weird. It doesn't dude. you don't want to watch it? I know. Yeah. It's just, but Carlos has seen it, so he's gonna let us know what Down for Love is about, or what's it like. I guess is it just like any other dating show, or do we get like extra retard in it? <laughs> oh, you should have waited. Johnny would have spit that shit up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here's the thing. If this was like <laughs> the early 2000s, uh, Down for Love probably would have been a comedy with Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. But it's actually a pretty good show. I was kind of surprised. It's rather endearing. These people looking for love, man, they fall in love fast. I mean, as soon as they see the person walking across the street, it's like, oh, I, I'm in love with her. She's so beautiful. I want to be with her forever. I'm like, that's clearly not how they speak. Low down. Mm -hmm. do do, I want you to do the, I want you to kind of mimic the show. The show contestant. No, no. Before Laura you, before put you, the brakes on all of that. Before you even consider it, think uh, about it as a straight ticket to hell. <laughs> A hundred percent. With all once right, the words right, come right. out of your mouth, you are the going special hell. To hell. Because yeah. I saw the preview and the guy goes, um, I don't think I like her. I think oh, I love her. And that's I was like Carlos. His name is Carlos. <laughs> yeah, but it sure is. Is this really his name is Carlos? Yeah. Is Carlos. I was gonna say his name is Johnny because that was my like whole like dating career. Like <laughs> that was my opening line. Hey, you wanna go out? Because I love you. I like how I can imagine Johnny has a blind date and goes up to the wrong girl. Oh, this is meant to be. She's like, Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, not you? Ah, damn it. I tried. I'm trying to think. Has that ever happened? Oh, it, it's happened. It's, <laughs> so, Laura, are you interested to watch Down for Love, a show that is when I saw the preview, I was like, this ain't right. This just almost like I felt like it was exploiting. Like, I people. absolutely felt the same way. I saw the trailer pop up on Netflix. I'm like, this feels wrong. And then we texted around, said we we're going to talk about it. I'm like, OK, that that's just my gut instinct that it feels wrong. Let me dig into that and see where that comes from. I have a hatred of reality TV show like this because dating shows are generally like trash TV. Like there's people behaving badly. It makes you feel better about yourself and da, 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 da. And so, you know, if there's a bunch of people who have a dis mental disability, it feels particularly yucky. But then I went online to look and see what people were saying about it. The biggest problem people had was with the name down for love. But other than that, everyone says that it, like Carla said, it's really sweet. It's really endearing. And most importantly, I think the families of people with Down syndrome were like, this is a good show. I like this show. It represents people well. And, you know, it's not cruel. It's not condescending. And so I'm not involved in that world at all. I don't have anybody close in my life with that disability. So I don't really have a ton to say. That was my gut check was that it feels wrong. But if these people are okay with it, they're giving it the rubber stamp, then okay. I'm well, do you think they're giving it. it the uh, the thumbs up because there's nothing else out there as far as representation? Yes, I so, do. So like, like oh. the title is just so bad. What like, if you had, if you well, had one to of rename them the celebrity? It? What one's a, wait, yeah. what? Yeah. So it's like a model or something. Libby. Libby is an actress. She starred in actress. a movie called Poppy about a girl with Down syndrome. She's the one with glasses. They all have glasses. I know. That was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> was a trick. If you could name the show, though, what would you name it, honestly? If you were like, hey, what's the show? We produced it. It's where uh, Downies date each other. And you're like, all right. Not, so, so. So what would the, you call the, it? The look on the look on Laura's face. She's so disgusted. There, she's so disgusted by Carlos laughing at these people. She can't take it. Or she's frozen. you, you have to rephrase. No, re no I'm not frozen. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to rephrase <laughs> the question because no. How what would you? How no, would, no, no. What would Lafayette? Oh say? no, I already have a name for the yeah. show. I want to yeah, know. Yeah, I know maybe. you do. Let's just throw your asinine going to special hell title out there no no mine's really good mine's no, way no, better can, than you think way can, can better i take can i take can i take a guess yeah go ahead now now i want to put this out there this is uh -huh. what lafayette would say okay sure slow love <laughs> no but that's a good one <laughs> is it... no mine's like legitly good yours is messed up bro what uh, yours is good like yeah mine's good okay mine's good 
If what would says, Lafayette call it? What yeah, what would, no, what would, what would slow what would love this, is on the board would, so far? What would slow angry love. Carlos call slow it? Love. And Carlos clearly said it's fast love, so you're wrong. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they fucking went fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lafayette, you go. I want to hear yours. Oh no, no, Laura, do you have a, if you had to name the show? What no, would you she's name? not even. She might actually. Oh no, quit, she, quit oh, the podcast. Got, right I think now. she's got one. I think. She's got one. No, I was trying to think of one. <laughs> And I was thinking love in the time of blank. And I'm trying to think of what that blank thing would be like love in the time of cholera. But I'm trying to think of what to say. I don't know. I don't I don't have a good name for it. This is a okay. workshop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is. But I mean, I got it right away. Like it's hit me like a like just fucking amazing title. I mean, Tom, I'm talking this title is way better than down for love. They should have named it what I'm going to name it. And it's love syndrome. I mean, honestly, it's pretty similar to the actual title. Nah, nah, that sounds I, I would, better. I would say it's less offensive, though. It is less offensive than than Down love for Love, yeah. because Down for Love, I mean, like it, it's a hip way to say like, oh, I'm Down, down syndrome, for that. like, but it, it Down for Love, say, like a syndrome. cool way to say Down Down to Fuck. Like, is that what people say? Down, <laughs> yeah, down, yeah. down, but, down for Love, Down to Fuck. I think, but, yeah. Slow Love. So like. Uh, it, when I saw the title, it reminded mm-hmm. me of when, uh, you know, Jeremy Lin was, Lin Sanity was at an all time high and they finally lost a game. And then I think it was the ESPN guy who said, Oh, there's a chink in his armor. And oh, it was like, yes. yes. It was like, yes. Ooh, uh, he, he, they, they Did fired he mean him. it that way? No, no. He meant it just like it was like you take that thing, a chink in the armor. Of is, all you know. the things, though, like. Right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because, because, you, because you never, um, like like if, if a team is on a winning streak and they suddenly lose, like it's never been said, oh, there's a chink in their armor. Like this dude happens to be Asian and they happen to lose. And then they said there's a chink in their armor. And it was like, ooh. Yeah, and okay. like it, it must have went through like a couple of hands, like as far as uh, editors and publishers and whatnot. And you then... know for a fact because they write their own scripts at ESPN. He wrote that shit, passed around. They all started laughing. That they're like, "I bet you don't say that shit, bro. <laughs> I bet you don't. <laughs> you say love that. your I... job. You don't say <laughs> <Yeah>. that shit. <laughs> bet money. Bet money. <laughs> bet me. I'll say that. I'll say it. Uh, he goes, "I'm black. They can't say nothing about me. Oh, they didn't quite work out like that. Did he fire? Did he get fired? I think he, he did. just got." No, did he, he get got fired? fired? Okay, yeah. he did. I was fired. looking at it. The, uh, when you still, when you, you still s- look it up, I like how Johnny still looks it up till this day. Dude, still, I say stuff like that him. all the time. Ooh. I have all kinds of like old timey phrases that people but, use. That but do you have you one should... that sounds racist? A ton of them Ooh, are give like me, that. Give us what? one. Give us one. Yeah, give us one only. Like what? I got gypped. No, what? gypsy. Uh, I yeah. That is a that's a that? racial thing. Nah, but we know what it means though. It means you got ripped off. I mean, ripped so. off. exactly. That's what I'm yeah. saying. All of these things, like Ooh, these racial racist, backgrounds. But, it's not, but see, but this one Gyp- gypsies, in. Gypsies, 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 gypsies screwed you. Oh, no, no, gypsies are shady, right? The they are shady people, people. Yeah. Yes. Gypsies are super shady. That's the first one that comes to mind. But there's a bunch like that. Like when you look at colloquialisms. Say that again. I mean, it's not even just racist. Like a lot of times, it's very sexist and. Well, the a lot chink of business in the armor, though, is is very they were, sexy. They were, the chink in the armor was clearly about an Asian guy, though. Clearly. You know what I mean? That's the problem. If you yeah. say, "Oh man, I got I got gypped," we know what you mean. We say right. chink in the armor, you're like, "Oh shit!" Did he just well did that about the Asian guy? Johnny makes a good point. The chink in the uh, your chink in the armor is not something that you say about a team that loses. That's not. It doesn't make sense. A chicken well, no, armor is sense, like your though. weak point. It made point. sense because it's your weak point. I That's what that it, means. And They're, Jeremy Lin definitely was not the weak point. Yeah, they were. They were winning. They couldn't. No one can beat them. So when they finally lost, it was almost like, oh look, they finally lost. There's there is a chink in the armor. No. And then you're like, well, it beats what he really wanted to say. This Asian motherfucker sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, but um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, down for love. Wild I mean, world. A bunch. I mean, the thing with the so it's it's they're dating they're dating each other, right? Like they're not dating anybody outside of their their circle or no, their it's, community. There's um, well, there's two people so far that do not have Down syndrome, but they do have like a intellectual disability. Johnny and uh, Joey Valentine both on the show. Then I take it. Just yeah, let right. me put this out there. I would wreck yeah. shop. Okay, <laughs> you'd be just you'd be down for everything. <laughs> 
And, and I feel like there was a, a period in my life, probably uh, 08, 09, I would have definitely like participated in this show. I was taking anything, any any takers, swiping wow. right to everybody. All, All cat- right. Well, All categories. Wow. <laughs> wow. Love syndrome on Fox. <laughs> All categories? He didn't care. He, is, he did not care. When uh, when I did my match profile, it was like at first it was like oh within the fifty miles. I'm like ah oh, fifty miles. That's that's a little far to try, but that's my radius. But then that shit got bumped up to two fifty. I'm like LA's three hundred. Okay, just five hundred miles. Wow. And just wow. just a whole lot. All of a sudden, it was global. Yeah, yeah. There's no borders on that. Johnny's <laughs> show is called Miles of Love. Just oh, that's a good. It's yeah. actually not bad. Yeah, I don't watch better. dating shows, but the same watch titles here. go. If you yeah. watch it, Little Libby's a heartbreaker. Oh, she's, she's a, heartbreaker. a bitch, huh? Mm, no, yeah. she's a heartbreaker. <laughs> oh, my bad. I was just judging already. <laughs> I mean, we can't a not like... bitch. She's a bitch because she doesn't want to date certain people. She's allowed I mean, to have an no, opinion. No, it's because I'm a celebrity. I'm famous. Like, you're too well, good for the other the world... downies. No, the world has let her know that she has worth and she has choices and she's gonna feel free to use them. Snap, snap, snap. Really? You know she can't snap them many times. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Oh, I feel like I feel like that's the end of our show, like forever. <laughs> After you said that, I feel like shit. <laughs> you feel like shit. No, anyway, I. Well, it's only yeah. five episodes. I just, I, like, should I, I call my that... work and be like, "Hey, dude, I, I swear to God, I, I don't, I barely know the dude." It's not that I'm like <laughs> offended. I just, I, I, when I was in high school, I spent my summers working at a camp for people with extreme intellectual disabilities, and it, it's rough. It's hard. It's so sad, and, um. Praise Jesus, both of my children are healthy and mentally sound. And that was my biggest fear because it's just a really hard life. And I I just I have a lot of feels about it. So I'm not like offended. I'm just I just feel bad. I'm not gonna lie. I feel bad for them. That's the truth of it. Well, yeah, it, it is messed up. Think about it. The delta hand off, you know, right off the bat. Yep. That's, I mean that goes for anybody that's born with a disability. Well, here's it's what just, I feel bad about. But some it's of these harder. People, is that their parents left them? Wait either, a second. Either one on the parent, show, the show? Them, not all of them, but either one parent left, which that usually is the father, it's or the father. Well, like one girl, her parents both. Well, one, yeah, her parents both left. For some reason, they said they couldn't raise her, so she was adopted. <laughs> and then one is raised by her grandma it's because her mom died of brain cancer. Jesus. But her dad left though. So her uh, dad. But but was she raised by her mom like to a certain until period? She was twelve. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so she had her, her mom until she was twelve. Away. And never yeah. heard of, from the dad again. Never heard from the dad. I bet you that father doesn't even claim to have a daughter. I oh, bet you. Probably. Oh no. Unless I'm mean, I mean outside of whatever family he might have at the moment. What yeah, a piece yeah, of probably. shit. What a piece um, of shit. And there's a fellow named Josh. Okay. Josh clearly wants to try to get laid. Okay. Who doesn't? All and right, he, Josh, uh, join the circle. I like Josh. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but on his we can first, all relate. On his first date, it's funny. I thought this was so wrong. I'm like, oh, it's fucked up. So the person he goes out with is not someone with Down syndrome. She has an intellectual disability. They go on this date, and she already says that they're, they'll be good friends or something. Be, they can be friends, but he's not boyfriend material. So at the end of their dinner, she gives him like a spoon full of her dessert. I don't know what this big old plate of frosting or whatever i don't know what it was so it gives him a spoon he takes a spoonful and then she pulls the plate in front of her and that's all you get son of a bitch the rest is mine and he's just sitting there kind of just tossing his spoon around kind of like oh i don't get no more i felt so bad for the kid i'm like oh, that's so i kind of feel bad for both to be honest <laughs> did I she do. call him a son of a bitch <laughs> no what? i just feel bad for both because they're like uh i like to order the ice cream you know they just Put a bunch of whipped cream on a plate. They don't fucking know. <laughs> the special hell. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, no, but I'll, it's messed up. Because I'll see you there, but I feel like you're going to have a better room than me when we go. Carlos is literally hiding you know and that, laughing. Do you, you know see that's how it works, too, right? Turn Johnny... away from the camera as if we don't know what he's doing. Johnny, you know that's how it works when you get there. You know what? You were you were more like general material. Go to the top floor. Like, wait, what? What do you do? What did I didn't do? I'm just saying. No, but it's all the people up. in line are whispering each other. That's the one. He's the one who's saying. No, it's messed up because I, Carlos says she's she's in, what is it intellectually something deficient? Stable. I don't know what you said. Yeah. Anyway, and then she's treating the guy like a total ass. You know, like like what are you doing? Because people, honestly, people with Down syndrome are super like in their feels. You know, oh, like, absolutely. Every single one of them. So when you do something like that, he's probably thinking, what did I do wrong? What's that's the look on his face. That's why I felt so bad for him. He yeah. kind of ho-hum. He just, just look. Yeah. I'm like, oh, man, like, I, I get so a bad. spoon. I mean, I couldn't watch this. This sounds yeah. already. It sounds like it would make me cry. Yeah. But <laughs> do you I mean, it wasn't uh-huh. it was just the the dessert that she took away from him. Right. It wasn't like she already said, like, we're gonna, just going to be friends. And... I don't think she told him. She told the producer or she told whoever was running the camera. Yeah, but the dessert oh, is a metaphor for yeah. him Fuck yourself. thinking I'm he was going to get laid, yeah. and then she pulled it away oh, from she him. She pulled that shit away from him. Yeah, and he was like, what? I'm Josh, bitch. Oh, he looked so disappointed. He looks oh, like, oh. Poor Can you tell guy. he looked disappointed? Because it kind oh, of yeah. the same look. That <laughs> what? All right. That's a little too. All right. We're done. We're done with this segment. We're going to move on to our next segment. We'll be right back on Nerds Talking the Podcast. You say you want to be a tough guy. You want to fight. You want to handle your problems? <laughs> Has someone killed your master? We came in a battle. Do you need to get revenge for a loved one? <laughs> You've heard of the one inch punch. Hey. How about the no inch punch? Is there a bully picking on you at work? Fight me. Then you need to listen to Kung Fu Movies Podcast. Learn the art of the Kung Fu Overdub. You're pretty good. Threaten a man with words you don't look like you're saying. Why you want to kick me? Point at him and then pound your fist into your hand and tell him you're next. <laughs> Learn that and more on Kung Fu Movies Podcast. Nerds Talking is not responsible for anyone that gets hurt after listening to Kung Fu Movies Podcast. If you do happen to kick someone's ass by listening to the podcast, please let us know. We'll promote it on our show. And we'll even shout you out. You can even be on the show if you kick someone's ass. Nerds Talking Podcast. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, turn on notifications, tell your friends every Tuesday and Friday new episodes of Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Laura, Carlos, Johnny, and I'm Lafayette, and we jump into our review of the week. It is Elemental by Pixar. Disney came out maybe in May. Do you guys recall when this came out in theaters? June. I'm, I'm, was it June? Okay, so not that long so. ago. Pixar's latest, it was uh, declared a box office flop, but actually it is not. It has made a shitload of money um, worldwide. I think it's I think it's eclipsed four hundred million dollars worldwide. And it just recently came out on streaming. If you want to rent it, not on Disney Plus yet. And I don't think any of us saw it in the theater. It did not interest me. Oh, Carlos did see it. He took his son to see it. That's right. That's right. That's right. How was that experience? He liked it. So you didn't understand it, but he liked it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, since you've already seen it, we're going to start with you. Give us your take on Elemental by Pixar Disney. It was a super generic story. It was the story of a segregated family, like all the heat, all the flame of the elements, like there's fire, water, wind, and earth. All the fire people live in a certain part of town. They live in the ghetto. Everyone else lives in Elemental City. Because the fire people can set stuff on fire, and the other elements don't like that. Wade ends up in Ember's basement because she has leaky pipes, and he was doing work for the city. He's a he's a city worker. He gets sucked into the pipes, ends up in her basement. One thing turns into another, and then they start dating. Uh, but it's a typical story of upper class dating lower class, mm-hmm. trying to be trying to be accepted by. The upper class. I mean, they're both trying to be accepted by their families, but the upper class family is like, yeah, we accept anybody. But the lower class family is like, no, he's not one of us. So that's what it's all about. Say, so it's just a generic love story. It is. It is. It's just like you said. It's a segregation. It's a blacks and whites, Jews and whites, and type of thing. And you know, oh, you stay in your neck of the woods, and we don't want you in our part of the woods, and blah 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 blah. What's your rating for Elemental Three? Oh, three. Okay. I mean, that's not horrible. All right. Laura, Elemental, Pixar Disney. What was your take on this animated flick? I 
really have much to think about it. Honestly, I was I was watching it kind of while I was working today, and I'm like, this is the right way to watch this. Plus, it would not have held my attention, you know, just sitting and and viewing on the couch. I would have been playing on my phone, so it was perfect to actually get some things done while I was listening with one ear. Like Carl says, it is very generic. I didn't really laugh. There wasn't anything really quirky about it. It was very predictable. I, yeah, it it just didn't ring for me. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure who this movie is for, I guess. It seems like a little bit too high for, you know, four, five, six. You oh, know, so true. the themes yeah, are so true. above them. Mm-hmm. But then aren't like queens, aren't they watching more serious movies with real people i don't know and i it was fine i it didn't you know elicit any strong feelings either way so uh middle of the road two and a half no yeah. right well, it, like was yes, it was a movie yeah it was a movie it was a movie uh johnny elemental disney did you watch it with your daughter no ah, okay she okay. doesn't have the uh attention span yet to go to the movies no no, i mean at home i mean at home no she doesn't have that attention span for anything ah there we go clear you can't even shit on the toilet by herself so shit on it or in it (laughs) either either way either way (laughs) uh so is it i mean it's made by pixar but it's not a pixar movie no it is it's a pixar movie it doesn't feel like a pixar flick right like you know how disney uh comes out with their occasional like Tangled or um, Zootopia. Those are not uh, Pixar movies, right? They're just a Disney animation. Those are just studio. Disney, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this felt like a... Because Pixar, they've been falling, falling off lately, but they're usually known for like better stuff, right? Toy Story and even uh, Inside Out. Well, um, what... I mean, how how much more original can they get? You I know? don't know. It was... A, it was it, the, the story... Uh, Carlos was right. It was just a very generic story. I was waiting for some sort of twist at the end. It was not like, you know, the water coming into Fireland or whatever. It was just a poor construction of their aqueduct system. That's all it was. There's no yeah. conspiracy. Water infrastructure. Were... Yeah. And apparently the city like doesn't do shit because like the the fire girl like put the glass up and she saved it for the time being they're like all right that's good like i don't know i I thought there would be some sort of conspiracy or and a twist or something but i i thought it was cute i thought it was um cool the animation i thought was pretty good but overall i'm not invested in you notice all the fire people were indian i couldn't place the accent yeah couldn't i couldn't either at first i thought they were like german no they were indian you could totally see all the decorations and everything were all India based decorations. I thought they were Asian at first, but then the music like changed. It was one thing I consider, you know, Asian, and then it did get more kind of Indian feeling. And I was like, I don't know what the I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. This was a pretty big deal to pass over the reins to a convenience store. Like, come on, <laughs> it's a Seven Eleven. Like, what? How they big told of a deal? you Indian. <laughs> that is true. Wow. Yeah. Good point. Good point. I wonder if you'll carry my product. Yeah. Um, I really did miss the 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 heart strings that Pixar usually pulls on. I mean, oh, I, was no, watching, just, uh... I was watching Toy Story three the other day with my daughter, and at the Don't end, I was one. like Don't, literally yeah. crying. You mm. think they're all gonna die? Don't do it. At yes, the that one? was the. Oh God, when they're. They're all going towards the like the big lava thing, and they're like holding each other's hands. That, OMG! That, yeah. <laughs> that movie is equivalent to um, what was the third Indiana Jones Crusade? Last Crusade. Crusade. Last Crusade. And then they made the fourth one, just like Toy Story. Like, just <laughs> here's a high, here's a complete shit. Like Toy Story. Oh, four, yeah. Toy shit. Story Four was a crystal skull for sure. Yeah, it okay. was a crystal I, skull. I haven't watched it in a long time, but I remembered liking it. Uh, I'm gonna have to watch it again with Toy Charles. Story Four or Crystal Skull. Yeah, which one? No, Toy Story. <laughs> you have to watch them both now. <laughs> I know Crystal Skull sucks ass. Oh my goodness! Uh, so uh, what's your what's? Oh, go ahead, Johnny. What are we gonna say about Crystal Skull? No, I, I give the Crystal Skull a one and a half at least. Yeah, two one and a half. Right. I mean, it, it wasn't as good as the game. 
<laughs> oh wow, probably pretty close. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this story, uh, meh, meh, probably won't watch it again. Um, yeah. What's your review? What's your score? We have. I'm a, gonna go ahead a three and, and a give and a it a three. A three. Wow. Yeah, three. I didn't hate it. Um, I like almost anything that they put out, so I didn't hate it. You like anything yeah. that puts out. <laughs> we yeah we know that yeah, 250 down, miles I'm, worth i'm down for love you know what i'm saying no, wait what <laughs> love syndrome coming this fox this fox this fox <laughs> you this fox. you messed up you're an idiot <laughs> Durr. anyway it was so basic i just couldn't like i got about 30 minutes in going this movie's so boring there's nothing good about it, it such a basic story just yeah okay we know what's gonna happen at the end and yeah, whatever the animation though was like like a plus, mm-hmm. like everything looked realistic. It was ridiculous, but this what a waste of a story. I mean, what a waste of animation or time or whatever. How these movies take very long to make. What a waste. They could couple have done years, something. right? At least five, yeah. at least five years to make these movies. And this Did one was not good. That the upper class person can come back to life. But if Ember would have got hit by water, she would have died. Well, because water can splash and then it can come back together. You know, what you, all Bruce Lee? It. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I was honestly thinking, I'm like, wouldn't he just turn into the Steam. wind, like the cloud? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, he's going to reincorporate as an, you know, another element. Be water. But water they did. They missed, they missed that. <laughs> that yeah, would have no. been the obvious thing to me. It, it was, um, it wasn't, wasn't good. It really wasn't good. It made $400 million, surprisingly, but it wasn't good. On a two fifty uh, budget, yeah, it's right? so yeah, exactly. So, I I'd give it a I'd give it a two. I I wouldn't watch it ever again. Has no appeal for a rewatch. The kids definitely wouldn't rewatch this movie at all. For what reason? For a generic love story, really like, generic. What age is the kid? I can probably put it on my kid to watch that crap. <laughs> would he though, or would he, he would. kind of watch a little bit and he'd be like, eh, put on something else? Well, he got the attention span of a four year old because he's four. So nah. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, he does that with everything. What I'll do here is I'm going to name you guys the last uh, since Toy Story four, all the Pixar movies. You guys tell me, yay or nay? Did you even enjoy them? All right. Uh, Onward, you guys remember Onward? It starred yeah. Tom Holland and I think Jack Black, or was it Zach Galifianakis? Chris I can't remember. Pratt. Chris Pratt. There you go. The dogs. Are the dogs in that? No, it's the one that's kind of about fantasy and. Yeah, Tom like, Holland's character. Which is uh, war- warlock. Wait, yeah, and... but it, but nope. it takes place like nowadays, like they're high school kids in the van, and I'm oh, gonna go yeah, yay. yeah, yeah. They go looking for their dad. I yes. say yay. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Onward yeah. was a good. Uh, movie. That one, I, I, that that pulled the heartstrings a little. That bit. That was released during COVID, right? Uh, yes, that yes. Home only thing. Yes, yeah, and good. the next one also released during COVID. Soul. But the oh yeah, player. the suicide movie. Yeah, the suicide yeah. movie. Carlos calls, calls it the suicide movie, but no suicide, suicide takes place. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, absolutely yeah. does. No, it doesn't. Do you remember that uh, one, Laura? No, so, I have Jamie, no idea what you guys are talking about. Suicide. No, <laughs> Jamie so? Fox. He like dies he and like like falls in a. The, he doesn't. He, ki- kills yeah. himself at the end. He kills himself it, at the end. He falls into the um sewer or whatever and. He, like, he accidentally and he steals a and... child's soul. No, he steals a cat, and the cat she... steals a soul, no. and the soul Mm-mm. becomes. I it's one of the soul... worst movies ever. First of all, it's a fantastic it. movie. It's a fantastic movie. It's like a like an easy four out of five. All right, next one, Luca. Also, straight to Disney. Plus. Oh, the Italian. That was all right. That was a one time watch though. That yeah, was fun. Great it was animation. Right. It was right. Yeah, that was okay. Mermaid. Oh, right. I don't like the well, all the bullshit around it though all the bullshit. like what bullshit the gay stuff well yeah yeah yeah. Like, the kid can't be friends with another kid with another guy another boy because all of a sudden he's gay no that was a thing too that was like a big thing all the was it really people came out like yeah it was about gay kids and grooming yeah. and like, it's about it's not like, man it's just about a kid, a kid a kid and his friend his best friend is, is another overzealous boy. best friend that are both yeah. mermaid people that are like we're finally human let's hang out forever and then one of them wants to hang out with real humans, and he got kind of jealous. And they're like, like all these conservative people were coming out, going, "Oh my god, it's about gay love at twelve years old." I'm like, "Oh my god, why'd you get? How'd you get that?" Clearly, the main know. character likes the girl. I didn't see I, it. I, I I saw the the kid wanted to choose it or make new friends, and then yeah, yeah, he was, he was exactly. on the verge of. I mean, it reminded me of uh, 
when Carlos and I became friends, and I lost Pepe forever. Ah, Pepe. <laughs> All right, next one is one of your favorite. Uh, turning Red. Uh, yeah. The period movie. The period right? movie. Period How about movie. the panda. Yeah, yeah, also yeah. didn't see it. Wait, what yeah, the hell's going on? One. You have a child. A good one. <laughs> like, what's going we on? Watch, we show her all the stuff that we watched growing up. Oh, okay. Here's one. Well, you have the... access to Disney Plus now, Laura. You can watch it. You can yeah, watch, you can watch all of it. I have access so... to everything. And that I just. That is true. That's true. We just. We and watch. And your bank account, Johnny. Your husband's a pirate. <laughs> on the ATM, the same. <laughs> Yeah, is your husband Somali? Go ahead, steal my credit, steal my something like that credit score. Yeah. Uh, next one, not a good one. Lightyear. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, not rough. a good one. Again, rough. though, top-notch animation. I mean, that was a oh yeah great-looking movie. Just not a good movie. And it's Elemental. unfortunate, man. I, I, if if they would have done well, they could have just branched off. The Woody they movie, yeah, they could have cleaned next. house. Yeah. yeah. And the next, writing was uh, just not there. No, it was horrible. Next on the docket is a movie called uh, Elio. So Ooh. that's coming up. Elio. E-L-I-O. Or Elio. But I say Elio. That's uh, next on the list here. Elio. Uh, the story follows an 11-year-old boy named Elio Solis who accidentally becomes the intergalactic ambassador of planet Earth after being beamed up by a alien for uh, trying to make contact. And now Elio or Elio must basically he's a representative of Earth. Has this been released? No, no, it comes out. Uh, supposed to, it's supposed oh. to come out March 2024, followed by June 2024, Inside Out Part Two. Did you guys so. see Coco? Oh, phenomenal! Yes. Yeah, so I good. I can't that watch Coco. So fucking good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. like pride. Every is that time I watch it. Every is it because is immigrations Disney? are really like sticking your craw? Right. <laughs> why? What? Why can't you let them cross the border? Is that... Yeah. What's the deal here? Because you're you're like uh, anti-Trump. Is that? <laughs> it is a di- it's a Disney one. That really surprises. No, it is. A that's Pixar a Pixar one. movie. It's a Pixar okay. Movie. Yeah. That, and that one. Woo. That's a great one. It is. Oh my god. I. That's the and. I couldn't stop crying. Like, that's oh. what I'm saying. That's what you so, expect yeah. from that's a Pixar why I can't watch movie. It. Every time it gets me. Every time. I think when you incorporate like culture, it'll make, it makes a better movie. It's like I feel like you if mean? you have like a 300 oh, like year old that. grandma, there's no way you're not going to cry. Like that is true. Unless, like you're, unless she has minutes to live. And, that is true. Minutes to live. You got to tell her every last thing. You gotta sing up, a song. That's another Pixar I'm, ones. You want to fucking. Ball oh, yeah. your eyes. No, out. believe me. When my my grandmother last time I saw her, I remember when he chased my friend Johnny out of the garage with a broom? Ah, we were oh. laughing. We we're having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and my grandma was just rolling. I I wasn't included in that we like. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Elemental. It's yeah. I think we're all basically saying past. Don't watch Elemental. It's just it's your basic generic, uh, other side of the tracks. You know. Oh, I can't date him because we're so different and people will disapprove of us. And we know what happened. Yeah, it's sort of a Romeo and Juliet, generic Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, West Side Story, Romeo oh, yeah. and Juliet. Name them all. What's that one? Uh, De Niro. De Niro. Oh, Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale. Come on, somebody give me some more. What do you got for me, Laura? You got to have some generic <laughs> movie like that on your list. Come guess on. Guess who's coming to dinner? I don't know. It's the first thing that comes to my mind. But yeah, there's dozens of them. Oh, guess who's coming to dinner? Is that Dozens, yet yeah, you couldn't name one. Yeah. Wow. wow. What? Well, Johnny can't name one. I know Johnny can't name one. He'll name some Korean show that we can't even, like... <laughs> you can't verify. Back. Yeah, we can't <laughs> verify. You can say anything. <laughs> yeah. Bok choy of love. Damn it, we don't know any of this. <laughs> I want my baby bok choy. And then... Uh, uh, you, 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 you can only look it up on the dark web, so... Down for love. <laughs> Because think about it, the one that's slightly stupid, this the downy one, that's not fair. You know, they're opposite side of the tracks or opposite side of the brain. That's our show, right? <laughs> I think that's so. It. That's it. 153 in and we're done. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's our show, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Nerds Talk and the podcast. You guys have been fantastic. Uh, shout out to Joy Valentine. You're still fat. All right. For Johnny. I do not approve of these last few comments by Lafayette. I just wanted to say that out there so I can keep my job. When they come looking for me. Who the the Downies? Fucking son of a All bitch. All right, bye bye. <laughs> or Carlos. Bye bye. Or Laura. Goodbye.
Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a forever goodbye. I, I think Laura just broke up with nerds talking. <laughs> it's not working out. Uh, Implies society <laughs> coming soon, everyone. All right. And I'm Lafayette. Thanks for tuning in. Nerds talking to podcast. We'll see you next time.